everybody. Welcome to my channel, My Spiritual Butterfly. My name is Gwen, Gwen Allison. I'm a Reiki Master teacher. I've been doing that for 10 years and I'm also a transformational life coach. Today I wanted to talk to you about how you can manage the 21 day clearing process. Uh, I'll be sharing some, some tips to help you move through that in a really powerful, peaceful way. I'm going to save the best tip till last though, so make sure you stay until the end. So yeah, let's get started. What is the 21 day clearing process? To understand that, we kind of need to understand what an attunement is because the 21 day clearing process happens on day one of your attunement to Reiki. And an attunement to Reiki is basically you being initiated into Reiki. The Reiki master that you're with will connect to the universal love energy that created everything bringing that energy in and we're, we're kind of um, connecting more strongly to the Reiki light you have within you. Reiki stands for universal um, energy, life force energy. We all have that life force, that light within us. But when we've been going through any challenges in life, uh, any struggles, any stresses, emotional problems, physical, mental, then that life force doesn't shine as brightly, right? It doesn't kind of um, shine out as brightly. We always have that light shining, but it's going through the filter of our pain and suffering and of our, our limiting beliefs and doubts and things like that. So the, the point of the attunement is to just remove some of those blockages to that light within you already um, so that you can receive as much Reiki as possible. You can connect to and channel as much Reiki as possible that you can use for yourself, for your self-healing, uh, or you can use that for the healing of someone else, yeah? So that's an attunement. With Reiki 1, if you're learning Reiki for the, the first time, the beginner's level of Reiki, you'll probably have anywhere between, some just do one, but I do four attunements over the two days. Um, for Reiki 2, it's usually two to three attunements. And for the Reiki master, just the one attunement. And that's mainly because, you know, you're doing less and less, having less and less attunements because it's seen that you have less resistance. So that kind of makes sense, yeah? Um, so that's the attunement. The attunement is a few minutes each, but if you're being attuned in a group, the whole thing, the whole ceremony is your attunement. You can experience things before your Reiki master gets to you, when your Reiki master gets to you and after. And so you might feel heat in the body, you might feel tingling, um, you might uh, feel energy in different ways, you might see colors, you might see visions that kind of mean something to you. Similar to, similar to what might happen in a Reiki session, that can also happen in an attunement, you know? Um, so it's important when you're doing your attunement just to kind of be in a place of peace, just kind of feeling, um, I don't know, just maybe gratitude is a nice thing to go into. You might want to just focus on your breathing, but you don't have to do anything really. You can just sit, you may even fall asleep, <laughs> just like a Reiki attunement and that's absolutely fine. But that Reiki attunement will start to shape things up in you. It doesn't always happen, but over the 21 days, usually I find in the first week, it might bring up some emotions. So it might detoxify you emotionally um, and it might bring up things that you thought you dealt with. You might feel really kind of, I don't know, sad or not quite yourself or even anger might come out. So whatever comes up for you, it's important to kind of sit with that. Uh, sort of energy, but over the 21 days, it's coming up for a reason. It's coming up to, to show you what needs to be healed in order for you to, as I said, connect to, really strongly connect to the Reiki energy that you're being attuned to uh, and channel as much energy as you can when you're working with Reiki for yourself or other people. Uh, the attunement can also stir up um, toxins in a chemical way. So you might find yourself getting really coldy or fluy. Uh, maybe headaches might come up for you as well. You might also find yourself going off certain foods and alcohol and things like that. Things that are actually kind of toxic to your body. If your intention is to channel as much energy as possible, be that beautiful vessel for this Reiki light so you can help as many people as possible, then that's going to come up as well. You know, so be prepared for that. It can be emotional detoxification. It can be chemical detoxification, but all with the same end goal so that you can channel as much energy as possible. Um, so the 21 days, as I said, can be a little bit difficult for my students. 
Some students have no problem at all. Some may feel more during Reiki 1, not so much during Reiki 2. Uh, in the 21 days, Reiki Master can be different too. Um, but I think it's, it's nice to give you some guidance around what you can do during those 21 days to kind of help it pass more quickly. Um, so yeah, as I said, the emotions that come up, please sit with those emotions. Don't make them wrong. Because uh, if we do that, we're going to push the emotions back in and they're coming up to be healed. They're coming up to be seen. They're coming up to be released. And as they get to the surface, they're going to feel a little bit stronger. They're going to feel more painful, more uncomfortable. And so we need to kind of sit with them with that compassion. You might want to journal. You might want to talk to somebody. Um, but it's important you just get curious about it and observe it as opposed to becoming that emotion and, and feeling like something's wrong. Nothing's wrong, guys. It's just part of that healing process for you based on your intention. Um, you can also, you might find as well, if you find it really difficult, but your self-reiki is something that is the key antidote to your 21 days passing properly, passing in a more beautiful, peaceful way. Um, you know, so you doing that right from day one will help you, even if it's just five minutes of Reiki, 10 minutes of Reiki, whatever you can spare, but doing it every day is really going to help temper and calm down any sort of adverse reaction to the 21 day clearing process. Um, if you find you can't even do yourself Reiki, sometimes, you know, you might really feel out of sorts, you might feel really unwell, then reach out to your Reiki master. They should be able to provide you with support. With my students, we have a Facebook group as well, which is just for my students. And what I do is I, I reach out to the group and we all send that person Reiki. And every single time, the next day, the person is absolutely fine. I love that, they're absolutely fine again. So reach out to your Reiki master, they can support you. They might send you healing in one way, shape, form, just to kind of get you through that process, yeah? So don't feel you have to struggle on your own. Really important that you don't. Um, the other thing that can help is to continue the advice you would have been given by your Reiki master around what you're consuming, what you're putting in your body, um, getting lots of rest, trying to eat foods that contain light, salads, vegetables, fruits, drinking lots of beautiful water, mineralized water that contains potassium and um, sodium, magnesium, electrolytes that your body can use. So we're, we're just trying to make sure that your internal state is as clean as possible so that process can happen, the 21 day clearing process can happen really easily for you. Um, and you'll also find when you do that with the foods, you will feel energy more strongly. That's definitely how I feel anyway. Um, cutting out red meats also helps, you know, as well as I said, alcohol, drugs, smoking, whatever you can comfortably do during the 21 days will help your journey. Um, the other thing you can look at uh, I'm going to go through it here and something I've started teaching my students is actually to rather than dreading the 21 days is actually anchor it to something you want to achieve. Um, 21 days is a time of transformation just like 30 days, 40 days, 60 days but 21 days starts that new habit. So anchoring your 21 days to something you want um, as opposed to dreading that is going to be a great start to your Reiki journey. Um, so I've got a list of things here I'm going to go through now that you can try um, in order to, you know, have formed a new habit by the end of that process. Anchoring it to something that you really want is, is really what we're focused on now. So the first thing you can do, you can do 21 days of kindness. So that's you being kind to yourself or kind to others, uh, random acts of kindness and doing that for 21 days, finding one thing you can do that helps somebody else out. You know, it could be a smile, it could be some advice, it could be, I don't know, opening the door for someone, carrying someone's shopping bag, helping an old lady across the world, whatever it might be. But 21 days of kindness, and, and even like listening to someone, I'm called to say, just spending some time to actually listen to someone and hold space for someone, a very kind act to do. The other thing we can do is 21 days of self-care. So this is you really looking after yourself and whatever self-care looks like for you, that's what you're gonna be doing. So um, you might, um, it might be a beautiful bath with some herbs and, and beautiful salts. It might be some sort of gentle exercise that you want to do. 
Uh, you can have a different thing for the 21 days. It might be starting your day with a, a little herbal tea ritual, or some matcha tea, um, or ending the day with some chamomile. Uh, it might be taking some time away from everybody and just kind of, you know, before you go to bed, just going to bed a bit earlier, just so you've got time for yourself. It might be to read or to do something like that. But it's doing something for you that you enjoy doing. Um, that's, that's part of your self-care. Um, 21 days of meditation. That's a really lovely thing to do. It could be gosho Reiki meditation. It could be a meditation you find on some kind of app. Um, but just committing to meditate daily, five minutes or more, is very, very powerful. It affects you in so many ways, physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, uh, making you calmer um, and managing your, your, your thoughts. Not about stopping thoughts, guys, but it's about just making them softer, not so critical. So 21 days of meditation is a really wonderful thing to aspire to. Uh, and you'll come out the other side of that much calmer, I think, as well. Um, 21 days of doing something fun, you know, so that might be whatever you consider fun. It could be roller skating, learning to roll the blade, it could be going out with your friends, it could be um, anything that you consider fun really. Um, just plotting that out maybe in advance on your calendar so when you get up you know what you're going to be doing. So something fun every day for the next 21 days uh, is going to really lift your vibration as well. Such a nice thing to do. Um, you could have, going back to what we were talking about with the uh, reducing the toxins that come into your body, so you could have 21 days of no meat, you could have 21 days of no alcohol, 21 days of eating healthily, um, you could have, even if you don't cut out those things, but you introduce the foods with light, as I said, the salads, the, the vegetables and things like that, the fruits, and you do that for 21 days, um, then that would be great for you too. Um, you could do 21 days of no sugar. Good luck with that, that's really hard. <laughs> but you can try that as well. Um, you could bring the 21 days uh, into your healing so you can actually go deeper with your healing. You can do 21 days of heart chakra work, building self-love, um, building self-forgiveness, compassion, connection with others, uh, releasing sadness, for example, all associated with the heart chakra. So you can work on your heart chakra for 21 days. Um, and just do that again. It could be five minutes, it could be more, whatever you feel, but that will also strengthen you in a really lovely way, uh, as well as opening your heart more to love, to giving and receiving love. Um, you could work on your sacral. 21 days of working on your sacral chakra. The sacral chakra is really about our inner child. Um, it's also our connection to our mothers and the female line, ancestral line. Um, also, if you suffer from things, like if you're a woman and you suffer from hormonal problems, menopause, heavy periods, um, maybe you're looking at, at, at trying for a baby and things like that. I mean, that would be a really nice thing to try. Uh, 21 days of giving love to your womb, to your sacral chakra. Uh, we tend to give that space such a, a bad rap, you know, so uh, that's a really nice thing to do. Um, there, I'll link any meditations that I have to, to help with this. Obviously, I've got the, the Kotodamas that help um, so I'll put some links down below in the description that will help you if you're wanting to kind of do the healing route, go deeper into your healing over the next 21 days after your attunement. Um, the other thing you can have a look at is third eye opening. Um, so if you want to build your psychic ability, Reiki naturally increases your psychic ability. It has to uh, for you to kind of understand what's coming to you and receive information about yourself and others in different ways. So you may want to work on that. You might want to work on the third eye, um, you know, like this or however you feel, just to open up your third eye or just a meditation where you're focused perhaps on the Sehiki symbol or the Sehiki Kotodama. Again, I'll link that below. But just make sure you, you do this work with some boundaries. You know, we've got to be, we're opening up to something. We've got to be careful what we open up to and set some boundaries around that. Um, asking that what comes to us comes in a peaceful way, in a way we can accept, you know? But that's a lovely thing to do if you really want to strengthen your psychic ability, see more, hear more, feel more, sense more, know more. Um, the other thing you can do is attach your 21 days to an exercise. If you're into kind of fitness or want to be, then you can attach 21 days to um, 
I don't know, do 21 days of squats. <laughs> I don't know, 10 squats a day for 21 days, 10 sit-ups a day for 21 days. You might go for a walk, you might go for a run. Walking is nice as well, because you can maybe bring in some mindfulness into that too. Um, and just getting really conscious about your body and your movement um, and you know seeing what's around you really great if you suffer from anxiety to move into mindfulness and, and walk and go outside so that's a lovely thing too um, affirmations 21 days of affirmations so an affirmation is a positive statement it has you in it so I mean my it's set in the present tense so I am I have it's not I will or I'm going to or I want. It's as if you've already got that thing. So, um, and it, it's nice if it contains some kind of emotion. So you can have a, an affirmation around abundance, around health, around, you know, career and work or around yourself and who you want to, want to be. Maybe confidence, more loving, kindness, that kind of thing. Um, and you can prepare maybe 10 affirmations for each um, area of your life or just 10 simple affirmations and you can be repeating those every day um, again I'll link a, I've got a link a lot of things I'm going to link a list of my 50 affirmations across those those key areas below if you want to kind of read those and use those or, or make up your own but again that's a really powerful way to shift you over the next 21 days and you can focus as I said on just one thing it doesn't have to be different things um, and then you can also uh, look at visualizing 21 days of visualizing what you want to, to have, be or do or achieve in your life. Again, super powerful to bring the vision in. It, it, it works really powerfully well with the subconscious mind, which is kind of the gatekeeper of change when we become adults. It's not so easy to change. So moving into a meditation, getting us into that alpha theta brainwave states, so the slower brainwave states where your subconscious is more open to change is gonna be you know, so significant, so impactful for your life. So yeah, and again, you can visualize for five minutes, 10 minutes, however you, however long you feel. Um, that's a nice thing to do as well for your 21 days. And then the final thing, the thing that I think works the most, um, that works the easiest, I think, it's the easiest to do and the most impactful is 21 days of gratitude. Oh, it's so amazing, guys. I have so many students that have done this this way and they report back phenomenal changes in their lives. Just being grateful. It could be three things you're grateful for every day or more, 10 things, however you feel. You can write it down, which is a nice way to channel and bring your guides in and get more things to be grateful for. Or you can just be thinking about it every day. Every morning is good because it sets apart for your day, but you can equally do it when you feel at night is good too. But that really shifts your reality. You know, when we find things to be grateful for, the universe gives us more things to be grateful for. It completely transforms your life and the lives of people around you. So that is my, my number one thing to kind of do because it's so easy for the 21 days. Yeah, so guys, there's a lot there. Pick what you like. You might have something completely new. Do share with me in the, in the description there in the chat. Let me know what works for you, what's resonated for you. Let me know if you have any questions as well. Please be sure to like, to share this video with your friends and to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and hit the bell to get notified when I release another video. Again, this helps me show up for other people who might need me. But yeah, I hope that was useful. Thank you so much for joining me. Good luck in your Reiki journey. I'm, I'm hoping it's blessed with love, with light, with so much guidance and inspiration. Um, but yeah, I'm just so happy there are more and more people coming to Reiki. If you have any questions, as I said, drop them in the description. But have a wonderful day. Thank you so much, guys. Namaste. Thank you.